We're eating good tonight. We are eating the best dish tonight. We have more Acheron videos to watch. Mihoyo is feeding us very well tonight. We have another trailer to react to. We have one more. I... The last one? The last one was... Sapphic as fuck. Now, I probably... This one, if I had to guess, would be more lore-based. Um, I want to know more about Acheron. And I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to watch this video. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Are you ready? Are you ready, my, my little pet? Yes, now can you just watch the video? I want to see my sweet Acheron gameplay. Uh. Fine. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Oh? No? Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. To save She's world, so pretty! Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the 12 sentinels. The first was truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. The second was sky, forged by the eternal zenith. This is so it could cool! Barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. The third was how, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down divine punishment. Wait. Okay. Fourth was mist, able to break earth and tear cloud with biting. I don't know if I'm reaching. I don't want to reach just yet. Frost, freezing the land in an instant. The sixth was fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Then there was flare, thought, root, form, bind, maw. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectations. There's so many! And victory after victory. Uh oh. All of them were broken. Ah! Oh. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. She really in looks like. End, right in May. Entirety was lost. Is it? I don't and know. So Izumo splintered 12 sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was origin. The second was end. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know. The road to self This is so cool! I love the art style. There is no Wait, what do you say? Sorry. I. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at her! I love this. But you and I both know the road to salvation does not exist. Oh. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything. For the destruction of two worlds. <laughs> In times past, Sheesh! Takamagahara, upon which the copy descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie, an end that never existed. Oh? We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward, one that we can never follow. Until the last blade is forged into. Not. Or not.
But it's all for naught. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet... And yet... It's kind of really funny. So is she... She's the last blade left? Is what, I, is what I think I'm understanding. I feel like that gives it's all for naught to a new meaning. Because, like, it's all for her, maybe? Like, I don't know. Everyone. What? I'm. 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 Uh, I don't know what's happening. I already forgot. So they made these blades to fight what now? For a lie? That something was going to come. Right? Is that what he said? Do you still remember why Isumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. Okay, she said it, not him. We long since strode into their shadow. Who's the guy, by the way? I have absolutely no clue who that could be. Of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward one that we can never follow. So... Is she still fighting? She must be still fighting for something, because she said like... She said this. And yet, and yet, I knew this world was fleeting. Yeah. And yet, and yet. I feel like she's insinuating, and yeah, I, I keep trying, or I keep, I'm still here, or something like that. This was such a beautiful animation. What the heck? I wish I knew more about, like, Mihoyo vs. Lore. Because, like, this is practically just uh, Star Wars version of Ride in May. Is there, like, a back shot? There, there was somewhere. Right here. This is practically uh, Ride in May, but I... I Apart from that, I actually just don't really have a clue as to, like, what it represents or means. I wish Maddie was here to explain it. <laughs> um, I can't... I, I want to know more. I want to know more so bad. I want to know more so bad, but you know what? Maybe we'll talk more about this uh, in in a Twitch stream so that chat could uh, explain to me things that I probably didn't even notice or understand. But this was a really good this was a really good uh, lore drop here we got going on. First one was Sapphic with Acheron and Black Swan and the second one is just a lore drop. I assume there's going to be like a third one. Um no clue what it could be about, but I'm really excited to know. The only thing I do understand is that she's cool as fuck and there are many many frames. Like every frame in this uh in this anime in this animation could be used as like a wallpaper. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be using one. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and put that notification bell on if you like and want, um, well, obviously, if you want notifications for my YouTube videos. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye!